Hello, hello, and welcome to another Rang Rouge unit of the week. And today we're taking a look at the Japard AA piece available to 21st Panzer, Rintown, Lair, 2nd, and 1st SS Panzer Divisions. So the history of this vehicle is rather simple. The Panzer 38T was a Czechoslovakian tank that the Germans incorporated into their army after they invaded Czechoslovakia. And it was a rather common tank that the Germans used during the early stages of the war, as it was a pretty bloody good tank. But by 1943, it was deemed obsolete, and they had a bunch of them sitting around that wasn't really rough for for frontline service. So they did the standard German thing of cutting off the turret and putting a different gun on top. This time it was an anti-aircraft gun instead of an anti-tank gun, because the Germans were putting anti-tank guns on captured enemy vehicles. They made 141 of these Jeopards, so I don't think they were actually called Jeopards. So their factual name is the Flank Panzer. 38T. It'd mainly be used in Panzer Divisions on the rest in front, so surprise, surprise, and still Division in Normandy 1944. And there really were just an interim solution until they could produce better, larger, mobile anti aircraft pieces, such as the Mobile Ragon. In game, the Japard is a 60 point AA piece available from Aid B Phase to 21st, Rintound, Lair, 2nd, and 1st SS Panzer Divisions. And it has a single weapon. So, that weapon being the Flak 38 20mm Auto Cannon, 4 Axi, rate of fire of 315 rounds a minute, 6 HE, with 10,080 shots, 800m range, and 8 meters of AOE damage. It's your standard 20mm anti aircraft auto cannon. It's pretty good, it has a bunch of ammunition, and can deal with ground targets if the need arises. If we take a look at the miscellaneous stat, it's got four frontal armor, two at side, one at back, and it is an open top vehicle. It has bad stealth, a speed of 30 kilometers off road, and 68 kilometers on the road, and low optics capability. In battle, the Japard rail probably seems like a bit of a piece of shit because it's a single 20mm autocannon for 60 points, yes, it has an armoured vehicle, but look at the flag team fell in with a mobile transport. That thing has much more firepower for the price. I mean, it has 999 rounds a minute. It couldn't even fit all the digits off its actual rate of fire because it doesn't support four-digit numbers. So, why did you get a Jeppard? Well, usually the main reason why is because you may not be able to get a, a flag team fell in piece in A phase or B phase where the Japard can be brought out. But the Japard isn't a completely useless pile of nonsense. There is an actual way to get this thing to get bloody kills. So when you usually have AA pieces and you're trying to shoot down an airplane, you're hoping that you can at least suppress them to make you know the bombs drop in accurately or the rockets, etc. The Japard can't do that in the slightest. By the time the Japard is gonna have you know, range to shoot at an enemy plane, it's probably already dropped its payload. Your Flak 88 and your Flak 37mm are really there to do the suppression. This is here to get bloody kills and kills only. So what you want to do is actually put these on hold fire, wait for a plane to fly right over you, meaning you have to have the Japard very close to the front lines. It really should be right on the front line, to be entirely honest. And then once it's right over, you put them off, or onto open fire and you just try to shoot everything down from there. That usually gives you the best kill window essentially to shoot down an enemy plane and there have been instances where I have managed to shoot down enemy planes during this before the plane even gets fully suppressed just with Japards alone and there are some pretty good Japards for irons. The two major decks that really benefit from this unit is second Panzer because you get a Flak 38 millimeter standard static gun with your Japard. Again, AAPs with your AAPs, what's not to love? And you can spread them around, uh, veteran shade, it's a really nice unit. And then there's the first SS Panzer Division. Yeah, it has them um, with high veteran shade. And goddamn, with two star veteran shade, if you do the hold fire trick, you can shoot down planes really fast if you manage to get two or three of these guys on the field. So yeah, it's a bit underwhelming, to be entirely honest. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but you can make it work. It just requires a bit of micro. Also, it's a decent ground support vehicle, yo. You know, it's it's okay in that regard. 
And I'm going to leave it off. Yeah, this has been another Rangarujun of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.